Emmanuel Aiko, Uncomfortable Conversations with a Black Man In the enlightening book, Uncomfortable Conversations with a Black Man, Emmanuel Aiko dives deep into race relations, history, and inequalities in the United States. The summary touches upon topics like the importance of language, implicit bias, white privilege, systemic racism, the justice and electoral systems, stereotypes, and black experiences. It encourages meaningful dialogues by addressing some of the most challenging questions, and clears up misconceptions in a way that can make readers more informed and empathetic citizens. The Power of Words in Talking About Race The book highlights the importance of language when discussing race. It delves into the question of whether to use Black or African American and the history behind these terms. It also explores the N-word and its impact on Black people. The author emphasizes that words matter and careful consideration is necessary when discussing race in a meaningful way. Unpacking White Privilege the launch of Google Photos in 2015 sparked controversy when black people were identified as gorillas due to the algorithm's failure to recognize black faces. This highlighted how implicit bias marginalizes black people, while white people often benefit from privilege without realizing it. White privilege is like having a head start in a race, and while it doesn't guarantee success, it puts black people at a disadvantage. White people frequently take privilege for granted in their day-to-day -day lives, something black people cannot afford to do. Cultural appropriation is another manifestation of white privilege, where white culture dominates and takes elements from black culture. White people should appreciate black culture as it is and not take it for themselves. Unveiling Systemic Racism Systemic racism is a reality that cannot be denied, regardless of changes in laws. It is a complex and pervasive issue that affects all aspects of life, from wealth to education. The concept of white privilege is a crucial factor, as it grants societal advantages to white people. Historical practices like redlining have had lasting effects on neighborhoods and school systems, leading to a significant wealth gap between white and black families. While programs like affirmative action aim to level the playing field, they cannot be considered reverse racism, as the power dynamic is not equal. It is time to acknowledge and address the impact of systemic racism on individuals and society as a whole. The Fix, the Unjust American Electoral and Justice Systems Crystal Mason's story illustrates how America's electoral and justice systems are rigged to favor people in power. Voter disenfranchisement is one form that has existed since the early days of the Constitution. Today, voter suppression continues through voter ID laws and gerrymandering. The justice system is also unfair, punishing people like Crystal Mason with extreme severity for a crime that is overlooked when committed by people in power. All of this is part of what the author calls the fix, systemic racism's biggest obstacle to change. The Damaging Effects of Criminal Stereotypes The book highlights the harmful stereotypes that are perpetuated when talking about black crime. The term, super predator, has been used to describe individuals who commit crimes naturally, with no motive. This term was used to describe specific neighborhoods, insinuating that certain people were born criminals. The language used during this time influenced the Clinton crime bill, which led to the mass incarceration of people. The terms, thug, and, black-on-black -black crime, perpetuate damaging stereotypes with racist assumptions about violence, painting black individuals as inherently aggressive and threatening. Poverty, rather than race, usually determines criminality. The familiar stereotype of the angry black man is another damaging stereotype that black individuals face. The book encourages readers to consider the systemic reasons why many more black people than white people live in poverty, which is the real reason for the high level of crime in black neighborhoods. Black Families, A History of Obstacles The book discusses how black families have faced significant challenges through American history that have resulted in lower rates of two-parent households compared to their white counterparts. These difficulties have persisted after slavery ended, negatively impacting their educational, economic, and social opportunities. 
Interracial relationships are also discussed, with the author cautioning against colorblindness or fetishization. The importance of civil disobedience and rebellion in protesting systemic racism. Anger is a natural expression when protesting against systemic racism. In his book, the author differentiates between the terms protest, riot, and rebellion. A protest embodies civil disobedience, an act of objection to what is considered unjust by law. Gandhi's hunger strikes and Thoreau's refusal to pay taxes over slavery are examples of this. On the other hand, a riot is a spontaneous and often violent disturbance, while rebellion is resistance to injustice. Throughout history, riots have often been rooted in racial discrimination, while rebellions have been the legitimate response to it. The author emphasizes the importance of voicing dissent in the United States and cites late civil rights activist John Lewis, saying, Never be afraid to make some noise and get in good trouble, necessary trouble. Playing our part. In Playing Our Part, the author draws a parallel between the huddle in football and the effort to end racism. To achieve this, every individual must understand their part in the struggle. Practical ways to help end racism include becoming an ally by listening, educating oneself, and supporting oppressed groups. The author highlights the history of white abolitionists and those who spoke against segregation to emphasize the long standing fight against racism. To be an ally, one must avoid being a white savior and understand that true allyship entails collective efforts towards the common goal of ending racism. The author encourages small but significant steps, such as initiating difficult conversations about race, broadening social circles, participating in protests, and understanding harmful policies. The author asserts that while ending racism may seem impossible, it once did to many who then fought for change. Therefore, People must work towards that goal through collective effort and determination. Emmanuel Echo's Uncomfortable Conversations with a Black Man sheds light on crucial topics such as language, white privilege, systemic racism, and the notion of allyship. It is a call to actively engage in conversations and take meaningful steps towards addressing inequalities and subsequently, combating racism. By understanding history, being conscious of language, and cultivating genuine empathy, each person can contribute to positive change. The road to a world free of racism may be long and challenging, but history shows that progress is possible, and every individual plays a crucial role in driving that change.